Hi friends, this is Capone and Piso. We have all these nuts, these uh, crassocardia infected imbeciles of the Mormon type that believe in a scripture. <laughs> Their brains infected with the full blown uh, HIV of God believe. The new array. Happy in Christianity infected America. From a source uh, that says that the FBI has finally made uh, and gotten some arrest warrants. Uh, several people's names. Ah, Waco. Arrest warrants, <laughs> Remember Waco? Of them, according to the protest. The prophet. Uh, Adventist. The response to that has been twofold. One, Christ of God. It will break apart, and some of them will go to that hate David ranch. David Two ranchers <laughs> who ended up having to go back to. So Canada. Christ of God, my friends. Being sentenced for arson, spent to be arrested. I will not spend any of my life in jail. So that if the FBI comes to arrest us, I may not leave here alive. He is. <laughs> These are not Adventist Christ of God, like um, like David Koresh, the prophet. These are Mormon Christ psychotics from one of the branches. And Amon Bundy, you know, he takes the, the name Amon from, from the Book of Mormon, their own interpretation. And uh, Amon is, uh, is a follower of uh, Captain Moroni, <laughs> you know, from oh, from uh, ancient times, from the time of Zombie Jesus, and uh, you know, they, they remember the, the, these people, the, the Jews, came around all the way after the the killing of Zombie Jesus, came around to the Americas, and they formed a new civilization in America that nobody can find. And the Nephites, because, you know, Captain Moroni was the leader of the Nephites and all these people in deluded Christian mythology. Because there is hundreds of Christian sects of the Christ psychosis sects. The same like Islam psychosis has 73 sects. And the Hindu psychosis has many religious beliefs and mental illness. Divide into many strains of the psychosis. It's like a schizophrenia. There are many schizophrenias. And uh, believing God is like an HIV of the brain. It's a virus that is in the brain, just like the HIV. Positive people. So this, these people are Mormon, Christ, psychotic, positive. They are developing full-blown Christ psychosis of the Mormon kind. Remember uh, Warren Jeff? Uh, Warren Jeff, the prophet in Liberty uh, City in... Uh, uh, I mean Liberty, in uh, you know Colorado City, in Arizona, and then they have all this uh, new version of uh, polygamist sex and all that in these two cities. They were founded in the late 1800s, I believe. And uh, you have Warren Jeff, and you have all this, all this uh, pedophile, you know, these young girls and all that. Well, this is just another sect of this, of this crazy people. Psychotic, schizophrenics, and the government, you know, there's churches all over the United States. The United States is a Christianity infected nation. And they're all racist, pedophiles, moronic. Uh, it, they are ignorant of science. And they're, they're psychotic people. They're like schizophrenics. And this is the problem that the government doesn't see. These people belong in mental institutions, all of them. And the reason is because religion is not defined as a form of neurological disorder like schizophrenia, temporal of epilepsy, mania, bipolar, and all of that. They don't realize it. Or autism, all the neurological disorders. These are all psychosis, and believing God is one of them. It's another psychosis. It causes temporal limbical interference, cognitive dissonance, uh, sensory gating deficit in the pulmonary nuclei, perfusion of the percunius, the locus corrillus is mixed up, and all these, the brain creates thinking, and is having all these connections and all these interference is there, and also because of the Borna, Borna virus in our genome, is creating these things and, and uh, these Im impressions and in, in distorting reality. So you start believing in telepathic communication with uh, with imaginary friends, which are called prayers. You believe in miracles. 
you believe in uh, ancient aliens? Conspiracy theories that the United States were responsible for 9-11 and then you have a zeitgeist and all these different all these different crazy things that people believe are true and this is psychosis this is, uh, it's one of these because a friend of people don't realize that all religions are like that but it makes your brain feel good and you believe it it's like believing you're going to win the lottery same thing you believe that prayers work you believe in, uh, uh, in, in mental telepathy. You believe in the spiritism. You believe in uh, homeopathy. You know, homeopathy uses water. This is created by, by a Christ-according infected German guy, late 1800s, and trying to dilute all kind of stuff <laughs> to cure people. And it's a tremendous industry, people believe that. You know, the crisis is, 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 is a placebo effect in a lot of things. They convince people that this thing will work and they believe it. Acupuncture is another thing. It doesn't, you know, it's all because they control the forces in the body, that if you put all the needles here and all this. Where is a bunch of crap and bullshit? It's like, it's, it's, it's a psychosis. People are crazy people. They're believing all this nonsense. The anti-science, Christianity infected imbeciles or religious psychosis infected people. They are religious psychosis positive. It's very dangerous because then when they become completely believing all the delusions to be true, then they turn into psychopaths like these guys here. Like any religious people. Completely out of their mind. And create all these problems. You have Columbine, you have uh, 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 Columbine, you have... Uh, uh, the shooting in the theaters in Colorado shooter, the uh, Resort Tucson shooter, and all these people killing kids. I mean, it's incredible the amount of it. And people in the South, you know, little, you know babies, uh, I mean, young, young boys shooting their sister with a gun and killing them, and the demons, and the guy that burned uh, their daughter because they had demonic possession, and all this crap, and they're rat rattling around in churches doing all this crap, and they're not, these people are not committed. They're not committed. And mentally healthy atheists, scientists in the United States of America say nothing. They're clueless. They don't say anything. They allow all this stuff to happen. You have all this circumcision, sucking the, the blood of, of, of babies in church. And this is, is considered normal. It's like sane. I mean, this is sane thinking. What is wrong with these people? And this is the problem in the United States of America. That's why I make my YouTube videos. I try to expose everything. Hey, look for yourself. This insanity and atheists do nothing. You know, atheist organizations in the United States are worthless. They don't do anything. They should be calling all these people nuts and say they have a problem with the brain. Nobody mentions the brain. None. It's like it, the brain doesn't exist. Nobody mentions the churches infected, the parents infected, the children with all this garbage. No one mentions that. And there is a problem, friends. You will have another, we'll have another wake here. Which they should, they should put all these people and have them committed. If one is educated, uh, mentally healthy, in other words, atheists and connect on the dots, when you realize that all religions were created by the ingestion of drugs and phallic worship over 40,000 years ago. Here's an example. Here's a manifestation of penis Christ, the Lord and Savior, by the artist that created this image. Wherever he goes, he will continue to be him, and he will continue to engage in the... Now they're talking about the affluenza kid. The other side of the globe. This is how this guy's going to behave, and his mother is going to continue to enable. Tell Christians! And Mark, I guess. Christianity! I why he's still in Mexico? Why have They're Christians! The UN? They're brought up Never Christian and Christianity infected the nation, and there you have it. Extradition treaty with Mexico. And stupid! Well, we do, but it's a quite a formalistic affair that we have to go through. And Dr. Du Drupinski is a Christianity infected imbecile that believes in the 12 uh, uh, 12 step program. Hearing. This imbecile believe in the spirit, believe in God. This moron here. I'm not certain it's the right. This move, idiot here. They may we'll let him sit. It's an idiot. All this news that happening in the country, shootings and killings and decapitations and name it, and nobody questions the brain of the people. Like Ben Carson, GOP. Christianity infected neurologist. And Ben Carson is an idiot. Is a is a is a psychotic moron. Doesn't know anything about history. Believes that the pyramids are granaries. Believes in six thousand year old Earth. And the guy operates in brains. 
and nobody questions uh, the, the mental health of these people. Nobody questions the mental health of this idiot here, of Dr. Jobinski. The psychologist uh, created a new thing, saying affluenza, and, uh, and let this, this idiot kid with a lot of money, all Christian, brought up in Christian homes, going to Christian churches and all that stuff, all this crazy stuff, extremely ignorant people, the mother goes around, and nobody questions their mental health. Drew Pisky is an idiot. The guy is a, I mean, he's a doctor. Where he gets his degree? This is a guy that believing he doesn't realize that he was product of, of his brain is product of coitus, like all of us. We've all been telling promise, and the imbecile doesn't know that. And he's in the step program. This guy should be in a mental institution, the idiot, and learn neurology, learn how the brain works. Drew Pisky and a lot of other neurology in the United States of America. And this is the problem. Nobody questions the mental health of the people. Nobody mentions the brain. The brain is what guides us. It's, it's the, our, our computer here that we walk around and oh, you know, go around like that. And that's what we do. We walk around and oh, now what happens if you take drugs? You know, I'll be seeing angels and demons and oh boy, this thing moves around and oh, the devil is probably doing this and I'm, oh, and like that. Now, if I say that this, uh, this fan is uh, moved by the devil, or by something like that, then we'll call me schizophrenic. But if, go around, if I go around and get on my knees, and pray, I cannot use my home, because I have the camera here. But if I, if I pray, oh God, and oh Jesus, help me, oh Jesus, then I'm perfectly normal and sane. What is wrong with neurology in the United States of America? They're blind. They're clueless. Christianity is a mental illness. It's a disorder, it's a neurological disorder, just like a schizophrenia, like any other, any other disease. Bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, temporal lobe epilepsy, it's all in the brain. People don't understand the brain is the creator of thinking. When the, the brain malfunctions, it creates malfunctioning thoughts, irrational beliefs. And all religions have irrational beliefs. Imagine a friend of all irrational belief acceptance. In other words, I for fever. At the core of all religions and schizophrenia and all that. It's like God. What is God? God is an eye for fever. Imagine I from for irrational belief acceptance. And, uh, you know, of course, this is, this is the problem. This is what we have here in the United States of America. Christianity infected nation with worthless churches, infecting the, ra the, uh, the brain of children, raping them, and these children will grow up to become senators, judges, and doctors, and all these crazy people that we have in this country. GOP is a perfect example. Perfect example, look at Donald Trump, look at all these people. They're crazy people, psychotic. They have no idea what size is up. And they all have problems with the brain, and they all should be committed. That's what the it is. The brain is the creator of thought. And when the brain is sick, it only can create sick thinking at the core of all religions and mental illness, like schizophrenia. All of them. And swearing to tell the truth in a book of, of uh, irrational beliefs, it shows a psychotic episode that people don't see it. They spread in churches. They swear to tell the truth on a book of lies, mythologies. It's like swearing to tell the truth on a book of Winnie the Pooh, Donald Duck. Like here, I'm doing the same thing here. Uh, but these people are completely insane, deluded, and you should question the mental health of these imbeciles that want to run for president. Anybody in government, question the mental health. Hi friends, it's Capun Piso. Swearing to tell the truth on a Bible or any religious text is like swearing to tell the truth using a Winnie the Pooh fairy tales book. Religious beliefs are a mental illness. It's, a new, it's an HIV of the neural array. Prayers are simply telepathic communication with imaginary friends. This mannequin here is created by a human brain that put it together and made a figure. So the brain creates human beings by using the penis Product of evolution for three billion years. 
And the brain creates thought. And the brain creates mannequins, creates as many gods as it wants. Religious beliefs are a mental illness. It's one of the schizophrenias. So, what religious psychotics do in church is a psychotic episode. It's communication, attempted communication with imaginary friends. That's what they do at church. And imaginary friends are at the core of all schizophrenias and religion beliefs. Winnie the Pooh book, any of these is equivalent to any religious text in existence. They are all mythologies. They are void of reality. They're all created by infected, psychotic brains. Religious, religious beliefs, God believe, is a neural array HIV, a virus that born a virus is in our genome. Check it out. And uh, the born a virus, the viruses control also our thinking, they can control thoughts. And this is a fact of it all. As for the sounds of this clock, the truth will set you free. The brain creates God belief when it is sick. Just in 2010, it was found out that the Borna virus is in our genome. And the Borna virus uh, is instrumental in creating a schizophrenia of many, many mental disorders. We have a virus. As the fact, we're evolved mutated primates, and this lemur is our ancestor, 47 million years ago. Second shot, he is literally inside that car. He's got his arm extended, See? extended firing. He did it because of I'm psychosis. I'm absolutely <laughs> amazed See? that Officer Hartnett is here with us today. He did it for Islam psychosis. When is Christianity infected the United States of America, the dumbest, stupidest nation on the planet, the love guns, the idiots, are going to realize that religious beliefs are one of the schizophrenia. It's a neurological disorder. Religion created in the brain here is no different than schizophrenia. Temporal lobe epilepsy and other psychosis. Because it, all religions accept I for fever. Imaginary friend of four irrational belief acceptance. As you see on um, neurological disorder like schizophrenia, temporal lobe epilepsy, depression, etc. People on the drugs, you see angels, demons, and all that stuff. So the brain is the one that created this, this, this thinking. And the mentally healthy, in other words, atheists, intellectuals, and scientists, they do not see it. It's very dangerous. It's like a cancer, like an HIV of the brain. And this disorder, is called, this disease is going to make us extinct. It's all inside of all of us. Born a virus. And the born a virus is in our genome. It is the primate genome. And, uh, and this is a science fact. Fact, like two plus two equals four. Exactly. And scientists do not see it. They take for granted that the brain is the creator of thinking. They completely take for granted. They, com they completely take for granted that microbes, viruses, and food that we eat, and all that bunch of stuff, they affect our reasoning and our way of thinking. You take drugs, you take a lot of cappuccinos, you'll be just jittery like this. All these chemicals, all the food that we eat, some put you to sleep, some kind of make you relax, and some uh, has entheogens like, like uh, fungi, uh, like, uh, uh, like mushrooms, some eat the mushrooms, and certain flowers, certain things. They actually make you see vision, visions. A tropa belladonna, things like that. Somebody put it on your food, and you all of a sudden you, you feel dizzy, and you feel like you're seeing this stuff, and then you think that the spirits are coming and visiting you. And you're talking to imaginary friends, your dead family, dead relatives and stuff. This religion is a mental illness. It just induces the brain to actually accept this deluded beliefs as it were true. It's just like an HIV, like a virus of the brain. The brain is your own we thinking with. It's like the computer. It's like, it's like when you have a, you're in a plane and all the computer goes berserk. And the pilot cannot control it, cannot control the plane because it's, it's giving you the wrong information and the plane's going to crash and you're trying to do everything you can and you can't, you know, because 
the, the, all the mechanisms of the computer and it's screwing up the plane and moving it around and it's going to crash. And uh, this is exactly so with people are crazy and insane. They go to a mental institution because you suffer from depression and uh, temporal lobe epilepsy and you have a, uh, you're a little bit savant and you have a obsessive compulsive disorder. Two rats and a combination of a one of these schizophrenia and you're crazy and you yell and you scream and they, they don't know what's wrong with you. And uh, it's the brain doing it, see? And you go over there to a place and you start killing people, decide to go over there, and you're a very deeply religious psychotic. You go to church all the time and you behave and you're nice, you're a wonderful person. Your family is wonderful Christians. We all pray and they believe in the Jesus and the, and the God. And uh, they can happen in any religious psychosis, by the way. So all these Christians, and all of a sudden out of the blue, in church, you take and you rip your eyes apart. You take your eyes out because the devil is making you see these things. Uh, or, or you shoot, shoot people in church. Actually, this happened one time in Italy. You know, men grab his eyes and rip his eyes off. This happened in uh, 2011 in Italy. And uh, when I, everything I say is based on facts. You can tell a lot for the eye, uh, you can tell a lot from the eyes of the person, the virus, the brain is infected. And he has this born a virus type of disease. Uh, the speaker is quite psychotic, infected with this illness. Nobody sees it. He loves to kill animals and go over there and do, do these deranged things. Psychopath. And this quite psychotic, infected psychopath are running the nation. You can see him in their eyes. They're all crazy. In another uh, suburb close to here in... What's Florida, new? Uh, <laughs> Religious psychosis. The virus. The this HIV of the brain. People will see it. Atheists, wake up. Angry, Dockings. The, you wrote the, the, the God delusion. About this. This is you know, without realizing what a God is, or what a delusion is, in your vacuous book, ago, The God Delusion. Uh, and they don't know how many times Why don't you learn neurology? Richard Dockings and Sam Harris, too. Even though you're a neurologist, you don't know anything about how the brain works. Works. To Come on, guys. This to this you, you call yourself atheist, A, without and feels, uh, Ima God or imaginary friend, all that crap. In other words, no imaginary uh, friend, which means uh, that you guys are healthy. An atheist is a healthy person, sane person. You guys don't understand that. Learn Latin, please. This ISIS inspired gunman ambushing and shooting a police officer 13 times at point blank range, all in the name of Islam. <laughs> I love it when they say it, all in the name of Islam. This is stupid Christianity infected woman created by spit of cum DNA, like all of us, our true creator is cock, the spit of cum from our father's penis Christ, tool of creation. But schizophrenics don't do crazy things in the name of schizophrenia. People don't cough blood in the name of tuberculosis. <laughs> People don't do crazy things and speak, ah, rah, you know, make all this ah, rah, 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 in the name of Tourette's syndrome. See, they, this idiot, this extremely ignorant people in this crazy country of the chrysocotic infected imbeciles which of course run the government you can see the GOP the National Rifle Association they are they are Christian and infected imbeciles they love guns Second Amendment the morons are still doing the independence the war of independence when you really need guns you need guns nowadays for what? Guns are for killing people, killing things. What do you need them for? Army should have them. People with, no, if you want a gun, a really gun, a owner, I'm a gun owner. But I like antiques. I like guns that are antiques from the times past. I like swords. I like things like that. Museum pieces, weapons. What do you need a gun for, you imbecile, stupid morons? I would ban all of them. Well, just, just leave it to the police, and they all should be they all should be healthy. In other words, mentally healthy atheists. If you want to have a gun, that you're an intellectual. 
because people that use the guns to fend off imaginary friends and people that don't agree with your own religious psychosis that you have are going to use them to shoot people to fight their delusions which are religious schizophrenia religious HIV of the neural array because the brain is the one that creates thinking a sick brain can only produce sick, irrational, deluded, bizarre, metamagical beliefs which are Iphophoebia, imaginary friend or foe, irrational belief, acceptance at the core of all religions, beliefs, and schizophrenia, temporal of epilepsy, temporal olympical interference, cognitive dissonance, precunious perfusion, the hypothalamus screwed up infections and all of that interferes with your thinking viruses distort the thinking microbes in the gut right here microbes influence your thinking take a bunch of cappuccinos and let me give you some drug and see what your thinking go you imbeciles but this is the problem in this country it's run by morons morons look at the GOP Christianity infected imbeciles ignorant, deluded, and all the schools are Christianity infected. These people are imbeciles They're stuck in the 12th century. And, uh, and of course the virus is, the virus is actually, uh, the virus is produced, is, is uh, not produced, but it is uh, spreads in churches. Churches? What do you do in church? You pray, you kneel, you pray. What is a prayer? A prayer is simple mental telepathy communications with imaginary friends. Let us pray means that you are going to communicate with imaginary friends that are in charge of your destiny. Angels, gods, Winnie the Poohs, Donald Ducks. Two-year-old children believe that they are real, but that's what you have the psychosis with. The mental illness of God believe. Religious beliefs are an HIV of the neural array. Rest my case. And that's the reason you have this. ISIS inspired, no, because this is uh, Islam. Psychosis. There are 73 sex in Islam psychosis, the hundreds in Christian psychosis. Yeah. And all religions have many sex, many strains of the virus. And they say, oh, it's a cult. No. Everything begins with cults 40,000 years ago. What is a cult? A religion is a compilation of cults. The imbecile. And they all created where? In the brain. A sick brain can only create sick thinking. Rest my case.